Hey guys, Strutter here. It's the 30th of May 2013 and this of course is a Britannia that was sent to me by a viewer in Britain and uh, I find it to be a very attractive coin. He heard that I hadn't ever had one of these so uh, he contacted me and we set it up so thank you to him for shipping this over and um, a really nice coin. I'm very very happy to have this. Uh, it's two pounds there on the back and he taught me a little bit about uh, Britannia's as well. Whoops, stay in there. Um, see, it says there on the right hand side, one ounce fine silver, but in the past these coins were not fine silver. They were something more closer to 90% or so, he was t telling me. So that's interesting to hear that they are now exactly one ounce of 999 silver. And I think that's a great coin. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of videos in the past couple of weeks. Uh, just there hasn't been too much changing with the things that I've been following. But uh, there's enough uh, today that I can do a video and actually put out some uh, useful content. I don't like to do a video if, there's, if I'm just going to say, you know, everything's the same as before and see you later. Uh, I don't like to waste people's time. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been enjoying some fishing and some gardening. And uh, just, uh, you know, personal life stuff. Um, but I want to show you this. just got this a couple days ago. Uh, really old, um, from the uh, turn of the 1800s there. It's 1807, I believe it says. It's really hard to see. Well, that's a handsome looking man, eh? Um, wow. This is uh, another British coin and um, a, a real nice, big, thick piece of copper. I got this as a throw in on another deal, but um, you know, this is well over a half ounce of copper. Imagine handing someone one cent and it's a half ounce of copper. Um, yeah, would have been interesting to live in times where we uh, used metal as currency, but um, those times appear to be over now. Anyhow, moving right along. Unfortunately, the new camera that I bought for this channel is not suitable for the channel. Um, I should have done more research on it before, but they weren't very upfront about the fact that they've changed their cameras now. Uh, Canon has to output MOV files, which are usable only on Apple computers and Apple software. Um, I know you can get software that converts video files from format to format. Um, the free stuff that's out there is not very good and I'm not willing to pay for that service. Uh, so, you know, and I do so many videos, I can do a hundred videos and then stitch them together into one YouTube upload. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be doing a hundred file conversions between different file types every time I do a video. So, um, yeah, I, I have to get rid of this camera. It's just over the 14 days period since I bought it. Um, there's no scratches or anything on it, but I can't return it because it's been 14 days. So um, I paid uh, about $150 for it, and I'm hoping to get most of that back considering it's brand new and I bought it on sale. This is not the top, top of the line, but one of the top of the line Canons you can get right now. Um, it is the PowerShot ELF 110 HS, so uh, if you're interested in a camera and you don't mind uh, working with Apple products and Apple files, then uh, this might be the camera for you. I'm going to put it on eBay if I don't have any offers for it or interest in it uh, in the next few days, so just send me a message and uh, let me know that you might be interested. And especially if you're in Canada, it's really nice to ship within Canada, much cheaper, and then you don't have to deal with the border um, over into the US or overseas. So, uh, especially Canadians, if you're looking for a new camera and don't mind Apple products, otherwise it was a good camera. So, I'm going to be looking for something else for this channel. One of the main criticisms of Bitcoin is that it's not stable. Well, from the crash from 260 something dollars, uh, we seem to have stabilized just about $120 or so. It's sitting at 127 right now. But it's been at that point now for a good month. So, it's interesting to see that... Um, even you know with all the volatility it experienced it has returned to a very stable price point I don't know why that is why that's happening but um, it does seem to be trading within you know 100 to 130 or so for the past month it's interesting to watch despite the mainstream media talking about how the US stock market is now in a pullback uh, if you look at a chart over the last you know what this is the year to date chart this is the pullback they're talking about. Not much of a pullback. We're sitting like, you know, 0.05% away from the all-time high. It's not a pullback. Uh, in fact, there hasn't been a pullback for, let me go to the five-year chart. 
there hasn't been a pullback since the crash. It has been, well, you know, QE1, QE2, QE3, twist, and so on. Each of these bumps is a, is a QE, but uh, there haven't been really real pullbacks allowed in this, um, quote, market. There's the silver chart over the past six weeks after that drop from 28 to 22. Uh, 22 here is where I did my video where I was pounding my fist on the table uh, and saying to buy silver. Yeah, since then it's been exactly flat. <laughs> it's 2280 right now. Uh, we've had, you know, uh, maybe this weird move. I think that was, uh, I can't even remember what happened there, but some kind of weird event happened. And uh, But, you know, there's nothing happening in the silver market ever since that drop. And we can zoom out even further. Look at the daily. It's just a, it's an obvious downtrend. And we can look at the weekly, and it's been in downtrend ever since QE3 was announced right here at 35 bucks. So um, is that over? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to make any calls on that. And I'm just going to be following along with this chart because um, it's not supply and demand that's in control of this chart. We can't do real technical analysis on the chart, and we can't make predictions like we used to be able to make. And, um, you know, as I've said many times now, it's not a few men sitting in a room deciding what the price of silver will be, but it's very close to something like that. Um, it's, you know, it's not quite that, but it is next to that. Uh, so this is a market where, you know, it's not allowed to shine. It's not allowed to, um, to make uh, the dollar look bad. And um, they're fully in control. So it will do what they want it to do, and making predictions is, is futile and silly. So... Uh, but yeah, we are sitting at just about almost $23 right now. Uh, it hasn't been this low since, um, what's this, September of 2010, October 2010. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. The U.S. Mint updated their May totals today for their Silver Eagle sales, showing just about 3.5 million. The record May was about 3.6 million, so it depends on if they will update again before the end of the month. If they don't and just carry over those sales into the next month of June, then um, this won't show a record May. It's you know very, very, very close to a record May, and uh, if they do update again, it looks like it's going to be over 3.6 million, which will be a record. So we're either at or above records for May. We are uh, well above records for April. We were well above records for, I believe it was February, and well above records for January, and I think it was March, where we just barely, um, you know, tied the old record. So we have tied or beaten all the old records for sales over the past 27 years for this coin. And uh, it's just amazing how much is being sold. I think it's a good point now to talk about the availability of Silver Bullion products uh, in the Vancouver area. I can report that availability is coming back into the market a little bit. I thought it would happen a lot sooner uh, after that drop from 28 to 22. I thought it would happen within a week or two. And it's actually taken about six weeks now, but uh, it does seem that supply is equalizing at least to some degree. There's still a huge demand. Um, there's not much out there in terms of availability and, um, you know, if you want a specific thing, you're probably out of luck. You just got to take what you can get. But there is more silver in the area now. Um, silver, silver eagles, no, but silver maples have come back to the area, at least in some supply. Uh, if you know somebody, you can get it. Uh, and if you just happen to have a good store near you, then you can probably get it as well. Premiums are still quite a bit higher than they used to be, but... Um, it is worthwhile to report that the silver is coming back into the area, and I imagine that's happening across North America as well. I haven't talked to anybody over the past few days, but I had been keeping up with a lot of friends and contacts around North America who were telling me that uh, in their area silver is just gone. There's you know none available or long wait times and so forth, but it does seem, at least in Vancouver, that it is equalizing to some degree, and uh, I'm able to get it uh, in hand without so much... Uh, time, stress, and energy <laughs> to uh, to find it, uh, I can now just walk into one of my favorite places and um, slam the uh, currency down on the table and walk out with the metal. But I just wanted to report on that. And I think that's it for the video. So have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon.